what's up everybody it's the untouchable wolf and if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe for more zelda tears of the kingdom how to videos and live streams and today i'm be talking about how to use the gloom club so let's get started the gloom club you see the base damage at 50 a middle stick filled with madness and symbolic of doom his forceful strike can smash an object to pieces as gloom will gradually wear down the body of his wielder so as you use this weapon your hearts will go away because of gloom but it's really really powerful so i do have an ancient blade right here we're going to fuse it together and you see right there man it has a 50 fuse attack power so i don't want to spoil it and um just play the game and towards the end you'll be able to get the ancient blade by doing it particular thing i don't want to tell you but if you really would like to know just let me know in the comment section down below and i will tell you and i'll reply to your comments so we're going to fuse this together and we have the ancient blade so right there uh ooh, take a picture okay right there we have the ancient blade oh my goodness with the gloom it is 100 base damage as i'm talking about let's go so you know zelda tears of the kingdom is just so much fun and it's all about your creativity when you're talking about fusing different weapons now when you're using the gloom club you want to make sure to have your food you know if you can buy a sunny lines together you can uh, create or um, cook sunny fried wild greens and have that um recipe right there by uh let me show you no many of you guys know what these sunday lions are so just cook one of those and then you'll get the food so you know if you're using this weapon a lot you want to make sure to have that just in case you might need to restore your hearts so it has the basic attack <laughs> using a y button yeah. jump attack now if you charge it watch this one very cool effect right there let's go that's what i'm talking about now if you throw it you can just throw it but you already know guys you already know the master sword is the only one that will not uh, break so you want to make sure to use that and, and uh, use the gloom club um just when you know often but you can repair it with the auto rock so let's look at it but yes the master sword is the only one that will stay in your hand and when you try to throw it because it has a beam attack and i do have a video on how to use the master sword as well what up guy and i'm over here missing he's like woof so you see right there when i'm using it my heart goes away so make sure you're very very careful okay well, let's see where do we Wolf. I'm playing baseball. All right, let's go to my friends. I like this area for testing weapons. You know, you gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. They're over here talking about Tears of the Kingdom and having a good time. And why are you blowing your horn, man? Get out of here, man. Get out of here with the silliness. What up, boys? you see right now it is badly damaged already so you want to make sure you're very very careful and have a combination weapon excuse me guys so you see right there it's our damage it does get damaged very quickly this is why we're going to the next gloom item the gloom sword i do have a video on how to use a gloom sword hey guys can't we all be friends Come on, guys. Let's go. We're going to use a combination. I'm not going to see with that, but we're going to go here. Use the Master Sword. And... He is almost done. Hey, I've been using the Master Sword for some, some quests. So, just indeed. Um, when it comes to the Master Sword, please ch check out my channel. We have a video on how to use the Master Sword. And it, of course, when it comes to the Master Sword, I'm not taking pictures today. It does have that cooldown as well. So we got 10 minutes. And you see, I've been using my, my Gloom weapons, guys. They're just a lot of fun. And you see right here, um, like it really is OP, but you got to be careful. You see right there, it does 
um, it can break very fast so um, just keep that in mind when you're using the gloom you want to make sure you have you know a backup weapon just don't um, rely on the gloom club by itself because you see right there it can break pretty fast right there if you're um, doing multiple enemies so this is how you use it and let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the gloom club i definitely think it's a lot of fun and most importantly how do you get to gloom club you want to make sure to fight phantom ganon and he's he appears on the map um there are a few places he appears um right here if you go to this location uh, to this cave you will fight um the gloom hands and then after you defeat the gloom hands you will fight uh phantom ganon and then he'll can drop off he can drop the gloom club as well as the gloom sword so just keep that in mind you want to fight phantom ganon to get the gloom club so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and thanks so much for your support it truly does mean a lot make sure to hit that like rate and subscribe from if you are new to my channel for more zelda tears of the kingdom how to videos and live streams so thanks for watching and take care and more wolf videos be coming soon. Later. Peace. Ooh.